So welcome to the first of my digital art paintings using Procreate. Um, I'm not paid to promote Procreate, so let's just get that out there. This is the painting I will be painting. So if you're thinking of buying the Procreate app, uh, this is how you start. You will click on your paintbrush and open your options, which will drop down. And you will see there there's a painting option, which you will click on. And then you will see there's an oil painting option. Please feel free to explore all the other options, but for this painting, we're going to stick with oil painting option. On the left over here, you'll see these sliders. The top one varies the width of your brush. The bottom one varies the opacity of your paint. You will need these. You can adjust your colours over here by clicking the colour swatch in the top right hand corner. And below are your colour palettes. So below that as well are your, is your colour wheel and you can use the your finger or your uh, Apple pen to move the colour around inside the colour wheel to adjust your colour and refine it. Okay, so you can create a new palette for each paint by tapping the colour that you have chosen into a new colour palette as pictured here. Okay, so now you have your oil paints, your brush, uh, your paint colour and the opacity and you can begin. So you might want to look at some of my other videos because the technique is the same for blocking in and painting uh, painting in real life as it is digitally. So I do go into more detail in those in those demonstrations so you might want to have a look at those because this is kind of speeded up. So as I do in my real paintings, I block in the background and you can see the colours I'm using here. So what you can do is you can go into, you can pause it, go into your paint palette and match the colours um, using the um, techniques that I've just told you in the um, first quarter of this demonstration. And then as you would in any real painting, you start to block in your main shapes and values and in here, I've, you notice I've put the background in, I've put the darks in, and I've left some lights on the bars there. Now, I should have told you about the blender tool, so you can use the blending tool as well, which I have done in the background in the top just there, and I'll just show you how to do that now. Okay, so look up at the top right, and you've got a little finger, click on that. That's your blending tool, and you can, again, with the sliders on the side, vary the size, and the strength of that tool. So there we go, I've blended the background, as you can see there, to give it a little bit more of a natural effect rather than a digital effect. And now I'm blocking in some more colors. And you can save your colors for each project by just tapping uh, the color that you are using at the moment into your new palette as pictured here. And each time you get a new color, you can just click it right back in that palette and it will save it and you can title that palette um, you know, floral oil painting or whatever, so that you can use that um, again if you wanted to, or just you know which colours, rather than trying to find your colour over and over again, you can just go back to your palette and you can um, use that same colour. And that way it gives your, um, your painting, um, you know, a really nice... <clears throat> really nice um, continuity balanced feel I know there's a technical term for it I can't think of it right now but you know what I mean you're, you're not going to put any jarring colors in unless of course that's what you're um, trying to do with an abstract or something more expressionist of course um, so uh, now you can see what I'm doing now uh, as with any oil painting a real oil painting you would just start refining the details and that's all I do with a digital painting um, so as I said, if you wanted to um, really see how to do, it's useful to know how to paint to do a digital painting like this. Um, um, but if you if you don't want to buy all paints and you really do just want to do a digital painting like this as a practice, I would definitely recommend watching my oil painting videos so that you get all the concepts because more or less the concepts and the stages are explained more fully in those, such as laying in the foundations, the value maps, um, you know, refining uh, details and tools, etc. Um, refining details and not tools. Well, yeah, tools as well. Um, but you will get a lot of information from those videos um, that uh, will really enhance uh, your digital painting. I couldn't paint digital paintings like this if I didn't paint um, oil paintings 
Now, of course, I could if I watched oil painting videos, um, but I didn't do it that way around. So I'm not saying you can't learn this way, but I think you just get more information that is entirely relevant by watching my proper oil painting um, videos. So I just want to give you a few more tips on how to, if you make a mistake, go back and erase the mistake. So basically, if you make a mistake, you can click two fingers on your screen, on your Procreate screen, and it will erase that mistake. If you want to put the mistake back because you decide you liked it after all, you can click three fingers, okay? So please do that. Um, you remember that when you are painting. Uh, what else did I want to say? You can use different layers. So on the top right hand screen, again, there is a page. Um, and if you click on that, it will open up the layers of each painting so that you can do uh, different layers on your page as well. I didn't use any layers on this. I didn't need to. I wanted all the painting to be able to blend together and I didn't want to get into a situation where um, I was blending something but the under layer wasn't blending and then I'd get in a mess because obviously that is not how an oil painting works. Okay, so there we are. It's finished. All that's left for me to say is have a look at my Halloween pumpkin uh, digital video. I've got more of these digital videos coming. Uh, please subscribe, click the notification bell, like my videos, share with your friends and I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some comments if you uh, want to see anything else. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.